Sticky things. A really easy activity that you can do to promote high quality creative writing is something called slow writing. You can do it at home, you can do it in the classroom, and it's really, really simple, and there are a number of ways you can do it. This is my teaching assistant, Sid. Sorry, am I boring you? The way it works is that you pick your topic or title, something to write about, but then instead of writing a whole story in one go, you break it down sentence by sentence with each sentence having a rule that you have to follow. Remember, getting good at creative writing doesn't necessarily come from writing story after story after story. You can build your skills really effectively by learning to write a great sentence or a great paragraph. If you're a parent or teacher, you can set this as an activity for your class or for your child. Or if you are a student, you can do this on your own. All you need to do is write a series of rules for each sentence. So it might be your next sentence must open with a simile, must open with an adverb, use a time conjunction, must describe one of your five senses, must use direct speech, must contain only three words, must contain a metaphor. So once you've got all your rules, you can fold them up and you can put them into a hat or a bucket or a box. I only own one hat, so this is the one I'll be using. So once you've got all of your rules in your hat, all you need to do is start writing and pick them out one by one as you go along. I encourage my students to use the Linky Thinks word wheel books to help you as you go along. So for example, first rule, your first sentence must open with a verb. Sprinting forward, giggling to myself, strolling along, snarling, scratching his chin, licking my lips, galloping, gasping, sobbing, peering. Striding down the street, hurrying along, sauntering on my merry way. So I'm going to write my first sentence. Scratching my chin. <laughs> and then I pull out another one out of the hat. Your next sentence must open with a simile. We've got like a demon, grinning like the Cheshire cat, as elegant as a swan, like a speeding bullet, pretty as a picture, as pale as a ghost. As pale as a ghost. As pale as a ghost. Your next sentence must use only three words. I slumped forward. Your next sentence must use onomatopoeia. Hmm. I'm going to turn to my elementary wheel. Human sounds. Slumping, punching, clapping, knocking, squeezing, stamping, flicking, mumbling, grumbling. Letting out a grumpy grumble. Nice bit of alliteration there as well. Your next sentence must use a colon. The day I have been dreading had finally arrived. Colon. The day of my spelling test. Dun, dun, dun. Your next sentence must include an emotion using show, don't tell. Turn to the yellow wheel. Emotions. Fear gripped me by the throat. My knees turned to jelly and not tightened in my stomach. My stomach climbed up my throat at the very thought of it. And what this does is it trains you into thinking about how to make each and every sentence count. No sentence gets wasted. It's also a really good technique to incorporate into your planning method. If you know the kind of headlines of what your story plot is about, then you can start to use slow writing to make sure that each and every sentence within each paragraph has something to offer the reader so that your story is moving forward with narrative, but it's also really stylish and visual and descriptive as well. You got any extra tips for anyone? No. I hope you found this video on slow writing interesting and helpful. Take a look at linkythinks.com for more tips, tricks and resources, and I hope to see you soon.